Thank you for watching the Florida Council on Compulsive Gambling's Youth Lesson Plan titled, What Are My Chances? Probability in mathematical terms is simply the likelihood of an event happening. It's one of the few mathematical concepts that you will use for the rest of your life. And it's pretty easy to compute. Take a second and write down the following formula. You've likely heard probability used in your daily life. Sometimes it's referred to as odds of something happening or the chances an event will take place. Here is the probability of popular events happening. Picking the ace of spades out of a deck of cards, your chances are about 2%. Getting struck by lightning, one in 960,000. Becoming president of the United States, one in 10 million. Getting a royal flush in poker. River card, queen of diamonds to the royal flush for Mickelson. Way less than 1%. Winning the Powerball, one in 292 million. And being dealt blackjack, about a 5% chance. You'll notice a lot of these odds are gambling related. People who gamble really consider their odds at every time that they wager a bet. It's important to note that in Florida, gambling is illegal for anyone who's under the age of 18, but many gambling devices such as cards, coins, roulette wheels, and other popular games are a useful way to learn about probability. For our exercise, we will examine experimental versus theoretical probability. The theoretical probability of flipping a two-sided coin and it landing on heads is 50%. There is only one desired outcome, but two possible outcomes. The theoretical probability of rolling a six-sided dice and it landing on just one number is one out of six, or roughly 17%. In theoretical probability, you divide by the number of outcomes. In experimental probability, you divide by the number of trials. Remember, for this lesson, you will need to know that there are 52 cards in a standard deck. Of those 52 cards, there are four different suits, each suit containing 13 different cards. You will also need to know that a dice has six different sides, and a coin, of course, has two different sides. Enjoy the lesson.